but what the Lyric is excellent at doing is our work in the community, in particular our work with young people. Um, we are n known for our incredible community work and our passion to change young people's lives and involve them in what we're doing um, and really make a difference in those young people's lives. My name is Simon Davis, I'm the Head of Building Operations for the Lyric Hammersmith Theatre. Uh, in my role I'm responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of this building, a number of contracts, so things like our cleaners, um, all of the plant, um, all the air handling, all of the, the things that um, uh, make this building work. I'm also sort of uh, key responsibilities ensuring that the Lyric is safe, all of our emergency procedures, uh, a lot of the key uh, contacts with the local borough, the emergency services and health and safety in this building. Lyric is really a hive of activity. We're constantly busy. Lots of venues and theatres will, um, their operations are very much based around their shows. So they'll have matinees or evening shows. That's when most of the activity is taking place. Uh, the Lyric is a huge uh, arts building. We've got rehearsal rooms, dance studios, film studios, recording studios. We have a lot of commercial hiring of meeting rooms and various, uh, uh, various rooms across the building. Uh, so we've always we've got a lot going on. It's not just about our performances on stage. So um, especially in my role, um, it's just constantly busy, and um, we are we are a real really big sort of community hub, um, and it's really fantastic. We've got an amazing roof garden, and we have an area where people can bring their own lunches. So in the summer, it's really nice. We've got people using our roof garden um, um, throughout the day and, and using our building. So in 2015 we opened our Rubin Foundation Wing which was a huge extension on the building premises. So I think we increased the building size by about 64%. In the Rubin Foundation Wing we added a new large rehearsal room, a dance studio, music practice rooms, recording studio, a film and TV studio, a cinema, various meeting rooms and all the staff got a, a new big open plan office. Uh, the reason behind the extension was really to increase our work uh, both on stage with things like we, we now have a rehearsal room that is the same, uh, same width as our stage which we didn't have before which certainly helps. We have a new workshop that means we can make a lot more of our set and things on, on site rather than uh, having them built off site. Um, but also in our work with, in the community, so we, we, the Lyric is a fantastic programme for young people and uh, the, the new spaces have meant that we've been able to increase that tenfold. We also have building partners now as well who use our building, who uh, work with us to work with young people in the local area um, and they actually have their offices here at the Lyric. So it's, it was a really big fantastic change to our organisation um, and uh, it's increased what we're able to do um, by a huge amount. During my time with the Lyric, the Lyric has done some really incredible productions. Um, one of the things what I really like about the Lyric, we do some really sort of hard-hitting theatre, like proper theatre. Um, and then we also, in, in when it comes to the winter time, we do a pantomime on our main stage. And that's a really important part of our programme, uh, where we engage with the community. Some, um, it's one of those shows that people may, it may be their only interaction with our theatre um, and have the place full of um, families, it's, it's really amazing. But then we also do some really uh, in incredible work, uh, work the rest of the year on our main stage. Um, I've been here now f through two artistic directors, Sean Holmes, um, who left us um, 
left us, left us last year um, as artistic director and now Rachel O'Riordan who's come in as the new artistic director I'm really excited for the shows that uh, she's bringing to the season and the future plans. I suppose the lyric stands out in a number of ways um, to other theatres and arts venues. First of all, on stage, the lyric's always been sort of famed for sort of big, bold productions. We've never sort of shied away from pushing boundaries, and um, certainly under the work that Sean, our previous artist, artist director, did. Um, we see a lot of companies sort of mirroring now what the lyric was doing under his direction and now under Rachel we're doing some really fantastic big productions really um, uh, that are really exciting so we've, we've, um, we've certainly um, got a, a very much a, a strong reputation um, on, on our stage and on our performances but then also equally important uh, what the lyric is excellent at doing is our work in the community, in particular our work with young people. Um, we are n known for our incredible community work and our passion to change young people's lives and involve them in what we're doing um, and really make a difference in those young people's lives. Um, so there's lots to, for us to be proud of and there's lots that uh, help us stand out in the arts industry. So the lyrics had a quite a remarkable history. What a lot of people don't realise, the lyric used to be an opera house, not on the current side, but about 200 metres away, uh, on a street that doesn't exist anymore. And the lyric used to be the Lyric Opera House. Um, it was originally designed by Frank Matcham, one of the renowned theatre architects, and uh, in, um, unfortunately in 1969 it was demolished. Um, the original theatre was painstakingly pulled apart, uh, casts were taken of the uh, ornate uh, Victorian architecture, all of the, pl all of the uh, plaster work was then uh, remodelled in a concrete block on top of a shopping centre and um, uh, reopened in the 70s by the Queen. Um, and that's what we have today, but in, in during that time it's also gone through other changes. Uh, uh, in 2004 the new entrance which is on Lyric Square was put in place and that added a rehearsal room, an education space, a ground floor cafe and the entrance that we use today. Um, the old entrance onto King Street was closed, um, we actually now use that sort of for uh, catering storage for our kitchen. Um, and then yes, in 2015 we built the, um, the Rubin Foundation Wing. Um, what was great about that uh, build was we were able to use the same architecture that uh, architect that did the uh, 2004 build, so um, it really marries and and uh, adapts to the Hammersmith uh, skyline. So it is quite a remarkable remarkable history, but it's fantastic that we've got this sort of Frankenstein of 1970s architecture, um, modern uh, architecture, as well as a uh, replica Victorian um, main auditorium. Uh, we don't have any massive building projects which is a bit of a change for the lyric but I suppose the main plan is our work on stage particularly under uh, our new artistic director's leadership um, and it's got off to a really great start we're just closing a production of A Doll's House and we've got a really excellent season ahead of us um, so I, I'd say that our main plans are, are revolve around work, our work on stage we'd, we've got some really big bold productions coming up um, and it's, we really want to sort of cement our place on the UK theatre really. <laughs>